Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. In our last episode, we talked about melatonin, which we have recently added to our supplement list. Today, we will talk about another supplement that we have added. This is a probiotic called Lactobacillus ruteri. Generally, probiotics have an image of improving gut health. According to recent research, certain species of probiotics have shown beneficial effects on bone health as well. We will look at a recent paper which reviews studies of probiotics and bone health, including seven clinical trials and the results. Here is the paper. Probiotics as a new regulator for bone health, a systematic review and meta-analysis. The gut microbiota have been proposed to have an impact on bone health, but the data on taking probiotics and bone health is conflicting. So the authors performed a systematic review to assess the effects of taking probiotics on bone health. They found 44 studies that met their criteria. Their overall conclusion was that probiotic supplementation might improve bone health, with further studies being needed to determine the particular probiotics and dosage. But first, why is bone health important and what happens to it as we age? We did talk about this in quite detail with Professor Burr last year, but we will touch on a couple of points here. Bone health depends on a balance of resorption, basically the bone being reabsorbed into the body, and new bone formation. One of the key metrics for bone health is bone mineral density, or BMD. This can decline with age, and a low BMD is a sign of osteoporosis. So this has an impact on people's quality of life, and the healthcare system. BMD is affected by various factors, including gender, age, family history, among others. One of the groups most at risk are postmenopausal women, as the hormone changes in menopause affect the rate of bone resorption and formation. Studies have shown that hormone status, immune cells, and gastrointestinal system can also regulate bone balance and health. The GI tract plays a key role in absorption of calcium, phosphorus and magnesium, which are key elements in bone mineralization, and also produces hormones which signal the bone cells. It is therefore being proposed that the microbiota will act as a regulator of bone health. They looked at 37 animal trials, which were mostly on rodents, and 7 clinical trials. I will look at these in a little more detail. Three were on healthy postmenopausal women. Two were on postmenopausal women with osteopenia, where osteopenia is the condition of low bone health, which is less serious than osteoporosis. One with adults with high cholesterol, and one with overweight or obese adults. I think that the majority of the studies were on postmenopausal women, as this is the group especially susceptible to bone health issues. Five of them were randomized, placebo-controlled clinical trials, and two were not. The lengths varied from one day to 11 months. The probiotics used were Lactobacillus helveticus and ruteri, and Bacillus subtilis. The summary across the various trials shows an increase in calcium and 25 OHD. Calcium is important as the concentration of cerium calcium impacts how quickly bone is reabsorbed, as Professor Burr discussed, and 25-OHD, also called calcifidiol, is an active form of vitamin D that is required for bone formation. There was decreased parathyroid hormone, or PTH. This hormone causes bone resorption when serum calcium levels are low. And the outcome was that the hip BMD was increased and there was reduced loss of BMD in other leg bones. In the summary, they say that they did find that probiotic supplementation had positive effects on bone health parameters such as serum calcium and PTH levels. And mentioned specific strains of bacteria that were beneficial. On the clinical trials specifically, they mentioned BMD, serum calcium, vitamin D and PTH levels. They do mention one clinical trial that did not show positive results, which was the one with overweight adults, and they speculate as to why this might be. They did conduct 
a meta-analysis of the results and say that probiotic consumption improved some bone health parameters. There were significant differences in the results across the trials, but the authors feel that the disparity in gender, bone health and chronic conditions in the participants could account for these different results. In the conclusion they say further studies are needed to determine the appropriate species, strains and dosages. My wife and I would like to improve our bone health so this is why we decided to try Lactobacillus ruteri based on this paper. We are taking 10 billion colony forming units of strain 6475 daily. We will see if this helps with our bone density. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.